you are given an array ARR. You are tasked to develop an algorithm which sorts the element of the array in terms of a waveform. What does it mean? You probably have seen a wave. At bare minimum, a wave just has ups and downs or high and low. That's what you are supposed to achieve. The output array's first element should be greater than or equal to the array's second element. And the array's second element should be less than or equal to the array's third element. And similarly, the array's third element should be greater than the array's fourth element and so on. Let's see what does it looks like in an example. The algorithm is given an input array ARR 10, 5, 6, 3, 2, 20, 180. The algorithm should output an array of elements 10, 5, 6, 2, 20, 3, 180. Notice that the output array is in terms of a waveform. 10 is greater than 5 and 5 is less than 6. 6 is greater than 2 and so on. In simple terms, the elements of the output array should have a pattern of large element, small element, large element, small element and so on. Now, we have figured out what should our algorithm output. Now, what's the approach to develop this algorithm? We have two options to develop this algorithm. Let's look at the first method. Here, the idea is to use sorting. First, we sort the input array and then swap all the adjacent elements. The approach for the first method is to sort the array, then traverse the array from index 0 to n minus 1 and increase the value of index by 2. Here, n is the size of the array while traversing swap ARR of i with ARR of i plus 1 and finally print the array. Now let's look at the pseudocode for this method. We implement a function called swap which takes the pointer of both the elements to be swapped as the parameter and swaps the element. Then we implement the sort function which takes the array and size of the array as parameters and sort the array using bubble sort. Now we implement the sort in wave function which takes the array and size of the array as input. The sort in wave function would call the sort function and after sorting a for loop begins from 0 to n minus 1 where the value is incremented by 2. The for loop just swaps the ARR of i and ARR of i plus 1. It's a bit confusing but if you look at the pseudo code it would be clear. Now Let's look at the code for this algorithm. We have the basic structure of a C program. We have the header file of the C program. We have already declared a print array function which prints the array and prints it in a visual form. We have the int main function where we are calling the print array function. In the main function, we are declaring an array with some elements. n is the size of the array. And in the main function, we are calling the sort in wave function with the arguments array and size of the array. We are implementing a swap function which takes two elements x and y. Here, we create a, a variable temp in the swap and assign the temp variable x. x is then assigned y and y is then assigned temp. Hence, swap is implemented. Then we create a sort function which takes arguments array and size of the array. The sort function is implemented using bubble sort. So you have to look after the bubble sort and the logic is similar to the bubble sort. Then we implement the sort in wave function which takes parameters array and size of the array. At first we call the sort function to sort the array. Then we create a for loop which runs from 0 to n minus 1 and the value of i is incremented by 2. In the for loop, we run a swap array function which swaps the end element with the next elements. As the array is sorted already, it replaces the high positioned index with its next element. The output of this array is, as you can see, is in, in terms of waveform and in the visual representation, you can see that 2, 1, 10. 1 is less than 2 and 10, 5 is less than 10 and 23, 12 is less than 23 and 34, 23 is less than 34 and 45 and so on. Hence, the array is sorted in terms of waveform. The time complexity of this algorithm is big O of n log n. Now, 
let's look at the second method this method is an optimized approach compared to the first method here the idea is based on the fact that if we make sure that all even position that is at index 0 2 4 and so on elements are greater than their adjacent elements then we do not have to worry about the oddly positioned element for example if we have an array of 8 elements which contains 10 5 6 3 20 180 we have to check all even positioned elements are greater than their adjacent here at index 0 the element 10 is greater than its adjacent that is 5 at index 2 the element 6 is greater than the adjacents 5 and 3 at index 4 the element 2 is lesser than its adjacent so we swap the element with its previous element again at index 4 3 is less than its next element so we swap it at index 6 the element 100 is greater than its adjacent that's it the array is sorted in terms of a waveform now let's look at the pseudo code similar to the previous method we have a swap function we implement a sort in wave function where a for loop is created which traverses the array from 0 to n and the value is incremented by 2 as we only need the even positioned elements in the array in the for loop we have an if condition which checks whether the current element is smaller than its previous element if the condition is true it swaps the current element with the previous element Preceding the if condition, we have another if condition which checks whether the current element is smaller than the next element. If the condition is true, then the current element is swapped with the next element. This is the pseudo code. Try to code it yourself since it is easy. If you get the logic, I hope you, you have coded it yourself. Now let's look at the code. Similar to the previous approach code, we have the basic structure of a program, we have the header file. We have implemented the print array function. In the main function, we are declaring the array with some elements. We have n, which is the size of the array. We are calling the sort in wave function and the print array function. We implement the swap function and then we implement the sort in wave function, which takes parameters array and size of the array. In the sort in wave function, we create a for loop which runs from 0 to n and the value of index i is incremented by 2. In the for loop, we have two if condition. One checks if the value of i is greater than 0 and if ARR of i, that is the current element, is uh, less than the previous element. If i is greater than 0, that is, and if the current element is less than the previous element, it swaps the current element with the previous elements. In the other if statement, it checks whether the current element is less than the next element if so it uh, swaps the current element with the next element you can see the output that the output is in terms of a waveform 10 is less than 90 and 49 1 is less than 49 and 5 2 is less than 5 and 34 and so on the time complexity for the second methods algorithm is big O of n which is great compared to the first algorithm. If you now feel comfortable to write the code and able to explain somebody about sorting an array in terms of waveform after watching this video then like and subscribe for more logics. Congratulations and signing out.